Good morning, good morning! So today is Friday. I'm really excited that it's basically the weekend. Not that anything is going to change because I looked at my calendar this morning and I was like, so I'm vlogging this day and I'm vlogging this day and I'm vlogging this day and I'm vlogging this day. Basically there is not a day, maybe there's one singular day between now and the end of the month that I am not vlogging. <laughs> so I was like, that little laughing like sweat emoji. I have some nice things planned. I also realised today that I go to Ibiza very, very soon and I have done absolutely nothing to prep for it. So that is what we are gonna get on with today because I'm a little bit scared. This might need to be a part one and part two. -er. Hopefully you don't mind. In this one, I'm gonna be looking a little bit ropey, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm currently in the process of exfoliating off my tan, basically all over my body. So my face, especially. <laughs> I woke up this morning, I was like, oh no. But it's fine because it's all for a reason and I will look fantastic before I go to Ibiza. But right now I look like, a patchy little, I don't know, what is patchy? Who knows? I'm also still very bloaty, as if you watched the last vlog, you'll know, and I'm still very bloaty, so I'm not feeling my best today. However, I do always say that is the best time to try things on for holiday. Yeah, today is a makeup day because I also, in addition to us trying on stuff together, I also need to film some TikToks, so I need at least a half face of glam today. So I'm gonna start off with the Rare Beauty is this a tinted moisturizer? Actually, I've already forgotten what it's called. I love this so much. When I first used it, I was like, yeah, it's lovely. Really like it. And now I'm like, I am obsessed with this. I have the shade 34W. W. I also have a lighter one, but this just makes me feel really nice and bronzy. And <laughs> with the state of my patchy skin today, I'm going to really appreciate that. It also helps to match my face up to my body really nicely. So it goes on quite warm at first, but as it sits on the skin, it really neutralizes, which I think is so interesting because normally foundations and like tinted moisturizers oxidize and go more warm the more they sit. But this one seems to do the opposite, which I find really freaky. I'm gonna do a little bit of correcting with my Bobbi Brown corrector stick. They do this in a pot and they have now brought it out in a stick form. And at first I was like, oh, but I really love the pot. It's really cute. Like I like using my fingers. This is so much better, so much better, so much less messy. I completely understand why they decided to do this. My camera's going really funny, hang on two seconds. Just adjusted it slightly. We were looking very blue in here. I also just like to put a little bit around here as well because I get a bit gray and like my skin just is a little bit of a different tone around here. So I always find this neutralizes this area quite nicely, but without adding like too much coverage. I oh, can't wait for holiday beauty prep next week. I need Jolene desperately. Okay then we're gonna use some Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Taupe which is just a really nice easy brown tone. You can smudge it out with your fingers if you don't have like the appropriate brush. I actually do have an appropriate brush but it's just it's gone walkies so I use my finger and it just blends out beautifully and then I like to either set it with a powder because I have quite oily eyelids or I use my bronzer because it's kind of a similar shade depending on the vibe it's got a slight coolness to it so if i want to keep that i just powder over the top but if i want to warm it up a fraction then i use my bronzer i think i'm gonna keep it cool today maybe just warm it up a little bit actually i'm gonna wear a blush i don't know if you can see it's just warmed it up a little bit more and then i am going to just quickly do my brows this is the bare minerals brow master in the shade coffee I really like this actually. I only started using it because I had it spare in my makeup drawer and I'd run out of brow product. And I was like, oh, this this will do. I think I took it to Ryan's because I had the full intention of like leaving it at his so that I had a brow product there. And I used it and I was like, mm, no, this is coming home. I really like this. Bare Minerals is always such a funny brown for me because when I love a product from them, I like really love it. I'm just gonna use my Tom Ford liner. And I'm just gonna do a tiny little bit to add some definition to my eyes. I always like apply with the actual pen and then go in with this tiny spectrum brush to like really perfect everything. And I just use the brush to pull the product into place. Okay, then I'm just gonna add a little bit of Glossier Lash Slick. This is my favorite mascara and it's really affordable as well. Also on a scale of one to absolutely insane, how badly does everyone have Kate Bush running up that hill stuck in their head at the moment after Stranger Things season four? <laughs> because honestly, <laughs> when you, you know, there's that like TikTok that's like, do you ever look at someone and think what is going on inside their head? All there is is that song playing 
on repeat. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Rare Beauty mascara just for a little bit of extra drama on the outer lengths of my lashes. Okay, so I found these foundation sticks from YSL in my drawer the other day and they actually make really good bronzers. Just using a little bit of the shade B70. I'm taking my Bobbi Brown brush and this is how I've really been really enjoying like doing my contour at the moment. I literally just add a tiny bit to the outer part of my cheekbone, not too high up, and then I just blend kind of up towards my hairline and then just take it a little bit further down with each stroke and I just think it looks a lot softer and then I just make sure that's really blended and looks nice and soft and wow what's going on here now I'm gonna blush I'm gonna use my little Surat blush this is so pigmented it's amazing I'm using a powder blush at the moment just because my skin gets a little bit less congested okay and then I'm just gonna do lip products so the other day you might have noticed when I was doing my makeup in the vlog I use the Tom Ford lipstick like a normal lipstick and then I use this like orangey toned one and it just was like the nicest lip combo so I'm gonna do that again today and I used a bit of the Vive Teached lip liner as well so yeah I used Blush Nude by Tom Ford which is a really lovely pinky nude colour I think if you've got fairer skin it's much better I'm a little bit like dark for it it's a very specific kind of colour for me but I popped a bit of this over the top because it worked in really nicely with my blush colour and I really liked it I then had to go in with a bit of the Vive Peached lip liner to like correct my lip liner colour so I'm gonna do that first today so a little bit of this. Do you see what I mean about it just being a smidge too light? And then I just went over with a bit of this lip colour. It's the Ultra Shine Lip Colour in the shade Sweet Spot. I think that's 05. That is just such a nice, like, juicy summer shade. My final step, always. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 2. I have shade 3 on standby for the end of the summer. So yeah, that is my little... I call it half glam because the base is actually really really light and obviously like there's not really a lot going on like eye wise yeah it doesn't feel like there's anything too crazy going on but that is the makeup look that you'll probably see me wearing a lot coming up because I basically pick one look and then really stick to it for a sickening length of time so this is what I have been wearing this morning I have yet another Adenola sweatshirt and shorts set but I just am so <laughs> obsessed with these they're so comfortable and this one is actually a really great color it's like a greeny toned beigey gray kind of color like a really light khaki almost and I have a lot of green Adenola active wear so this sweatshirt will actually be really handy because quite a lot of the time I don't have other than a white sweatshirt I don't have a sweatshirt that pairs particularly well and I always look a bit like mismatched if I'm ever like throwing a jumper over my green active wear set so I think this one is going to work really really well I got it in an extra small all of the sweatshirts and shorts I have in an extra small they do run very very large I normally would take a small but these fit so well really love the shorts they're so comfortable it's got this like sun design on the back which i really like so yeah that's what i'm wearing today we're gonna start with all of the things that i need to unbox for ibiza that i just kind of have like been sitting on and not really thinking about for quite a while now where do i even start so the vibe for evenings for ibiza has always it's always been my plan to do like a little bit of kind of sparkle so zara have been doing a lot of cute embellished things so like i love this top and i just thought with a pair of jeans i know jeans yeah bear with me this would be really cute kind of like low-key really relaxed and i always find a bit more of the vibe in ibiza but Depends on what you're doing. But I also saw this dress, which is also Zara. And I absolutely loved it. I have video footage of these already on. So we'll pop that on screen. But this dress is stunning. And I just thought, like, for a dinner where I will not be being proposed to, this would be lovely. So yeah, I absolutely love that it's gorgeous so i picked those two up and then another black top which is actually on my hangers somewhere this top which i'll also show the video of me wearing is gorgeous and again with like a pair of jeans it would be nice and relaxed no jacket nothing like that literally just a pair of jeans we have a few nights coming up where ryan has to go to like work things so like 
the club and basically it's gonna be one of those situations where i'm kind of like the only girl so i don't want to be this vibe oh my god they just get stuck together all the time i don't want to be this vibe i want to be this vibe and then i might also take this which you will have seen in my last pack with me if you haven't watched that i will link it for you guys and i'm really sad that i didn't like basically i listened to a lot of your advice because sometimes in the past i've decided to really like blanket avoid avoid ignore advice and then I really regret it. So I was like, do you know what? There's so many people saying that it's gonna to be too hot for a suit and blah, blah, blah. Nah, I definitely could have done with that suit in the evenings. Let me tell you, it would have just been a real nice vibe. However, the hotel, to begin with, everyone was dressed really cash. And the longer it went on, the more my kind of girls started showing up. But to begin with, I was like, I'm just constantly dressed but towards the end of the holiday <laughs> there were a lot more people that were like my vibe showing up and I was like well I've worn all the really nice stuff now and now I'm just in like simple things trying to match everyone else here because I'm being stared at but anyway so evenings is like a sparkly vibe so I picked her up this before i went to greece but knew that this, this wasn't coming to greece from sla i also picked up which you will have seen in my one of my tiktoks i was wearing the little sla white sweatshirt and shorts set which i loved anyway i picked up this dress from sla and oh my god look at that it is just <laughs> incredible and i thought it would go really beautifully ignore the green ignore the green we'll talk about that in a minute with this so i'm gonna try that on okay i've got to take my back and stock some socks off and like start looking like a real girl I'm hoping the length of this is gonna be okay because it's just shirt i feel like i can leave it a bit more open and then sit it a tiny bit further back to like give myself a little bit more length if I need so hopefully this will be a vibe oh my god it's so pretty what do we think can you see yeah okay I can see I can see you and I can see myself great yeah this is so pretty I think like you could use the bag strap to kind of like cinch it in a little bit if you wanted to as well i did kind of wish that there was some kind of belt situation but i also don't because i think it's such a wow factor that the slouchiness of it is almost like adding something really amazing yeah this is stunning i got it in a size small i think so with a pair of heels i think this would be lovely i also have some flats which i'm going to take with me which are like this nude tone and i think they'll work yeah really nicely because they're like a cool toned nude i don't know if you'll be able to see them when i'm back here but i can wear flats if I want to. They've still got the tag on them, so please ignore. But yeah, I could wear flats, I could not. So that's TBC. I have to actually watch my what I wore vid to see what I actually like end up pairing together, I think, because I'm gonna have to really whittle down and then break everything that I wanna wear and I'd be throughout per trip, because we're doing three trips over the summer because Ryan has three separate jobs. But it's not profitable for us to stay there for the whole summer, so. Yeah, that's why we're back and forth a little bit. Okay. I've thrown a cover up on, by the way. This is from Lorna's in the Star Collection, like a bajillion years ago, but it's gorgeous and it makes a good like thing to throw on when I'm half dressed. So I also have some bits that SLA very kindly sent me. I'm not sure if they just happened. It was like coincidence or they saw that I'd made an order and then reached out because sometimes that does happen, but they very kindly reached out and asked me if I'd like to pick out some bits and they've sent me basically bits from their summer collection. So we have this pink shirt, which is, looks a bit crazy when it's like this, but it's like meant to be like a beach shirt, which I'm so excited about. And then there's also a pink bikini. So these are the bottoms. I haven't worn a color like that in what feels like forever. And these bikinis are really cool as well, like the triangle ones, because there's now the, all of these new trends for like tying them different ways, which I cannot wait to play about with so yeah we've got a really lovely like triangle bra stitch these are small mediums i can't remember if i said that's an extra small the sparkly shirt this shirt is a small medium and then we have this cute little beach skirt which i think would be really cute with pink but it would also match perfectly with this beach set i think this is called like the gardenia set or something which way around does this go i think this way <laughs> it's so cute so so cute so i love that and i think both work perfectly with the pink shirt over the top so we're going to try this on now okay i am already obsessed i just think this is so cute like i need to adjust a little bit and sort the top out but 
so cute. Always take my triangle bikini up higher because it just makes my legs look longer. I really like the fact that these ones as well, I don't know if you can see, have like ruching here. So like with the tops where you can move them about, you can move the bottoms about as well, make them like wider, slimmer. Yeah, I really like this. I really like the fact that the pinky tones of it are a bit nudey tones, so it's not, it's got colour but it's not got too much colour, if that makes sense. Yeah, really love that. Oh my god, they fit so well. Oh, honestly, I have not had a bikini that fits as well in a long time. And this is the pink shirt, which is okay with this, but I feel like with the pink, it's gonna really pop. It kind of takes over with this bikini. How could I forget? There is a little... What's wrong? How do you do this? <laughs> So I want it to be like that, so something like that. God, how, don't know, don't even know. I haven't done this since like the year 2000. If any of you have a good tutorial, please send it to me. I think this is my comfort zone, to be honest. What do we think? I love it. I mean, it's just such a cute print. I think it's really flattering. I have to say with this SLA swimwear, I really rate how big the triangle cups come honestly the past couple of years whenever i've bought like a triangle bikini i've bought like a small and it's been so small but these are actually like you can get basically like an entire boot covered up i just i love that so pink shirt yeah i really like the pink and the pink so cute so much better yeah love this so cute very happy with that can't wait I, can't, I just can't wait. I'm so excited. It's also at this point that my colour palette for Ibiza becomes kind of obvious. So we have from the last video, if you haven't watched the last video, my dress from Reformation and Hunza G. I think my code is still live, by the way, if you want to use it. It's FF. So I'll put it on screen. So we've got these kind of like lovely soft tones for day. And then we've got this, which then goes into full on the Zara silver sparkly top kind of for night. So yeah, Crete was really low key, lots of blues. And this time we're like going the complete opposite. Okay, then from ASOS starters. Whoa, we have some jewelry. One hoop of which has just tried to make a run for it. But I really liked these big gold hoops. I actually don't have any big gold hoops anymore. And these were really like statement, but not like over the top. I'll show them to you if I can ever get them clipped in. Oh, no, I have. Okay. Yeah, just like really, like they're chill, but they're like, you can really see them. Love, 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 love. I also have some belly chains because these are a thing and I think they're really cute. So I was like, gonna go for that. And then this follows on to my next point of, I saw my manager who is in Ibiza with me at the moment, wearing a really cute bikini, like belly chain situation, but then also like the cutest bucket hat and it was all matching and i was like taking inspo thanks honey so i also have some bucket hat matching bikini situations coming up as well and that is something that i really wanted to play about with oh my god these are so tangled i've got a couple just because i really wasn't sure on sizing like what i wanted in terms of house statement this gold one is obviously a lot more subtle so i did think that i was not sure on the big pearly one but they are very hard to get hold of at the moment so I was basically getting what I was given but actually I like the pearly one like more low yeah I think they're kind of cute I think the pearly one is too much with this bikini but I really love the gold I think it's just really subtle I'll try it with my next bikini okay so sadly my greens although they look similar on camera do not actually match this is much much darker this is much like lighter brighter very annoying because I thought pastel green would be so fun however we have a lovely cornflower blue look and bear with me because I love a bucket hat. I know not everyone loves a bucket hat, but I think it's so cute. What do we think? So I have cornflower blue, this, or I have green, which annoyingly doesn't match my bright green. Getting all of these things to match, so annoying. Don't know how my manager managed to, to get a bright green that matched this. It's so hard. However, it does go really well with this. So that's also a possibility, however. This green and this green, also a possibility. Or I have these from H&M. These are recent, so hopefully they'll still be available because you can get this one from H&M in store, but it's not available online, but you can get the beigey version of it online. It's way better to buy them in store though, if you can, because they don't come misshapen. Like this has really held its shape really well because it hasn't been squished for so long. So I'm gonna have to really like reshape this one but i much prefer like the structure of the h&m hats they also fit really nicely do i 
do this and then we will see in the crochet from my pack with me for Greece. We could do a neutral version which then feels a little bit more me however I do like the cornflower blue again it's that soft colour palette which I really like. So yeah what do we think? Should I play it safe or should I go with the blue? I feel like there's going to be some real strong opinions on this but I just think the blue is so cute. Okay so what do we think? This god needs some serious shaping. It's really offending me. I'm just not sure they match and it's really bugging me. I also do have a like white tone if I ever find a white bikini. It is impossible to find a white bikini in a size small right now. I'm really struggling and my other white bikini is so old. I, guess I used to tan in it for like videos and it now has like pink all along the straps so it's not ideal. Yeah, the white, the white needs white. So, so a bit big. Is it a bit big or is it cute? Can you let me know? I think I prefer the blue. I think the blue is my favorite, but I do also think that this is a really nice color combo. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys because I have now tried on so many hats that I'm just not even sure anymore. I actually think this one needed to be a size bigger. I got this in a size small, but actually this one sits way better and it's a medium. I'm just gonna try the dark green on and see if this works. Okay, I've just thrown the top on. Doesn't match, not happening. Okay, so this next one, I kind of ordered because I thought I was gonna like try it with this hat, which was pushing it because it looks like one of my nan's blankets from like the 80s. But I really don't like it because the bikini is too glam for that kind of vibe, like the contrast is too much. However, I just love the bikini anyway, and I'm definitely keeping this one because I just feel great in it. And I think if you find a great piece of swimwear, even if it's not like the color palette right now or whatever, just buy it. The cups fit really well. It's like adjustable on like the straps and shoulders. So everything just fits nicely. And I love that the bottoms fit really well. And I'm holding the body chains up that I was wearing because this one also comes with its own body chain and I thought that was really cool like if you are struggling to find like a nice body chain or whatever it actually comes with this bikini it has little loops that it attaches to as well which keeps it in place but you can also just take it off and I think that's amazing it's quite a glam bikini like I said and that's normally not my vibe like I do love a triangle bikini they're really relaxed casual all of that kind of vibe but for Ibiza especially like Ryan does play these like the shows that he plays are at Ibiza Rocks and it's like a daytime pool party kind of vibe and I obviously I don't really swim or anything like that because I'm either backstage drinking or I'm in the DJ booth but just in terms of the vibe it's kind of fun to like go along the same lines as everyone else so I thought this could actually work really well with like a pair of like white trousers white shorts that kind of thing with like a white shirt over the top okay next from ASOS I ordered some dresses this one I can try on with you the other one I can't because the other one is an over the head type dress like it doesn't have a zip or anything so i can't pull it on from the bottom up and in my experience every time i try on an over the head dress i end up getting stuck with it stuck with it stuck in it so i am gonna have to try it on when i've actually got someone in the house with me <laughs> because i've had some really bad experiences before there's been some real zara mishaps where they go on but they don't come back off and they've got to come off over the head and i've been really lucky that someone's like always dropped by whenever i've been stuck and i've been like i'm in the middle of filming a zara haul can you like help me so for reference i'm just wearing my black triangle bikini underneath which is from asos got it a couple of years ago i think this i just feel like i'm gonna put a nail through it's not giving me the vibe that i had hoped yeah no this is this is not the vibe and now i'm scared that i'm stuck in this so this is good i just didn't realize how high the neck was gonna come up expectations versus reality should we get a photo of what the model looked like because I feel like she looked a hundred times better than I do right now. I think I have too much boob for this. So that's a no. This is like the reality of getting ready for a holiday really isn't it guys? Just like ordering some bits of ASOS hoping that that will be really nice and then it doesn't quite go right. I actually, th actually think I might be stuck in this you know. Okay I took a risk on getting into this black dress with no one here. So far so good, I think I'm gonna be okay. This is just gorgeous. I think it's so nice, like the back detailing is really pretty. Like it's got like this lovely crisscross detail. It's like fully adjustable. You just have to like pull the strings and it kind of like moves with it. It's got this lovely little cutout detail here. It does ruch a little bit over the hips for me. I think it's just not got enough material on the hips and it's just kind of like ruching up a little bit. But that is normal for me, sadly. However, if I ordered a 10, there'd be way too much material here and it would look like a joke but on the back it fits 
really really well the length is great as well but the length is always why this ruching situation also happens because most people have longer bodies than i do so they haven't started going out at this same point basically but yeah the length is still good which i'm really happy with because i thought this could be more like maxi level i've just realized i've still got my bikini bottoms on underneath this so it's probably not helping with this situation but yeah it's really lovely what do you guys think i just thought this could be a really good one for like summer like vacations in the evening but also summer in the uk if we're going for like a nice dinner out what do we think should i keep it just to confirm i am in fact stuck in the dress so this is what i mean when you get a waist bit and there's no zip okay i'm out the dress i've been rescued i'm not sure i'll be keeping that one because well i could i would just always need to make sure that I am with someone when I want to get out of it. I have started putting my bikinis in the suitcase. I think I'm going to do daytime outfits next week. I know which evening outfits I'm taking. That's all really easy and already sorted. I have obviously the SLA shirt and then I've got the sparkly dress as well, which I definitely want to shoot. We've got this lovely Reformation one from my last video and then the Hunza G one, which is a nice like day to evening one. It might be what I wear actually maybe on the day of one of ryan's shows because sometimes we've gone from the show to dinner so that's a good like in between one to be honest i also have this dress from zara which is like a silky shirt dress which is lovely so yeah i think i'm i'm all good for like my evenings and i've got the crop tops and jeans situation which i'll just wear with like sliders or something just really really chill but like cute enough to go to a club i don't know maybe i'll wear it with a heel actually but my point being evening is pretty much like done i just need to like pick my accessories and stuff like that and like lay it all out which i will do the day before because i don't want anything to get like all creasy or whatever it's a lot easier with all my grease stuff because stuff just looked a bit creased anyway like the materials that i was picking just sat quite well but this trip i can't pack fully as early as before but i also have like a couple more bits coming so yeah gonna do daytime i think early next week in like get that all packed yeah swimwear is all sorted and that was the main aim of the game today i'm gonna film some tiktoks and then i'm gonna go do a workout and enjoy my evening ready for a little 5k you ready she's so ready let's go come on good girl oh she's so happy she won't be when she realizes we're not getting into the car though I am trying to get everything kind of like out the way this morning so I can really focus on my week. This time next week, I will, will I be on a, I will be on a plane. Will I be on a plane? Will I be off the plane? I don't even know. But this time next week, I am going to be on my way to Ibiza. And I'm so excited. A little bit nervous because it's the first time I've flown alone in, when did I last fly alone? May 2019. More in 2022, so it's been a while. I'm a little bit nervous, so I need to get everything like booked and sorted this morning so that it's just not at the back of my mind because there's a lot going on this week. I have got all of my videos that need pre filming, I've got stories that need pre doing for like brand stuff. It's Father's Day coming up, so I need to get all of that kind of stuff sorted just so there's no like last minute hiccups. So there's a lot going on this week. Ryan has a new release coming out on Friday, so he's really busy this week, and Lauren is off at the same time as me, so it's literally every man for themselves this week, and it's 
so much like my head is just going a little bit wild so i just really need to be really strategic and mindful with my time this week and make sure that everything is like to the letter and hopefully it's all going to be fine i'm also waiting for my fake tan to kick in on my face right now my face and my body sit at a completely different color because obviously i wear spf 50 on my face every single day and do not give my body the same respect that i give my face partly because my body is mostly under clothes but as you can see from our trip to greece I have like a little tiny mini base tan. So yeah, face and body really not matching right now, but I'm filming a new video for Sandra Pay tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. It's literally one of those things where I can just free talk and I hit all of the markers in my briefs without even like needing to look at them because I just know the products so well. I love the products. I can just like free flow about them and I never, I just literally like don't even really think about it and it's so great. I was actually meant to vlog all weekend and I didn't. I literally, I'm the worst person. I will moan that I like don't vlog enough in like social situations in my free time when I'm not in this spot because I literally feel like most of my vlogs I'm in this spot at the moment, which is my happy place by the way. But I sometimes feel like I should remember to vlog when I'm not in the house. And did I do that this weekend? No, absolutely not. But yeah, this morning I've done a little bit of a workout as well. So I had a nice long walk. I'm gonna try and squeeze in like a mat workout later as well really trying to be like good and like super healthy in between all of these trips that we're taking this summer because i feel like everything goes out the window when i'm on them so it's nice to like balance it out in between all of my dinners at the moment are like rice and veggies and like protein and stuff like that so i'm feeling really good but just like trying to squeeze everything in before i go it's a lot but yeah my walk this morning was lovely the weather is like actually really good this week so it's floor it's getting good as i prepare to leave the country but yeah still in my workout for it from this morning this one is from aloe yoga i really like it it's like a greeny grayy color i need to change out of this i just don't know what i want to wear today yeah tbc on that one but i'm also so excited today because my farfetch discount code goes live really excited for that to go live don't forget to use the code if you haven't seen that video and you want to pick anything up but yeah that is today's little update i'm gonna crack on with my admin and i will catch up with you guys later also look how fun these flowers are Hello. Yeah, I picked these flowers from my garden yesterday. So they are, I don't even really know what they are. I didn't plant these. They just started growing and they're not like in the color scheme, which is fine, but there was just like quite a lot of them and they were getting really tall and just kind of like flopping over. So yeah, it's kind of nice having things that you don't actually want growing, growing because it's like a free bunch of flowers. I love that. So I have just had some deliveries arrive. I thought I would unbox them with you. I'm gonna sit down here for a little change of scenery. So. First up, we have something from Majuri, which I'm so excited about because I love, love, love their jewellery. Some of you, if you've been around for a long time, may remember we actually did a collection together years ago. Their jewellery is just some of the best jewellery out there. I'm excited. Oh my god. This is the stacking ring. So some of you may already know because I literally wear their rings pretty much all the time. I already have a few rings from them already. Oh, they're such a good fit. Perfect. So this is like an eternity stacking ring. It is gorgeous. So it is, I believe, it doesn't say anywhere on it, but I believe it's real gold with diamonds. And this will go so perfectly with the rings that I already have from Majuri, which are basically like gold plain bands. I have one that's thinner, one that's thicker, and this will stack perfectly. I have some other eternity bands as well. And I think that all just stack really beautifully together. So thank you very much. Majuri for this. This is just beyond stunning. And then we have a Farfetch delivery, which I I honestly can't tell you. I'm so excited about this. Sadly, I don't think my code works on these. I think it's in the excluded brands. By the way, I'm so happy I got all of my admin done that I needed to get done. And I really, you know, some days you wake up and you feel really overwhelmed and you're like, I'm just never going to get everything done and I was really really panicking and I got all my admin done I even had time to do like a pre-clean of the bathroom because the bathroom needs some real TLC it's really upsetting this is what happens when you like start traveling again regularly you have to really make time for cleaning lockdown was really great I was just always at home so I've had time to do that I've had my lunch it's just such a nice chill day and we're ending it in a really great way really quite these fit. Please excuse my sock mark. Oh my god, they fit. <laughs> my legs are so liney from my socks. Oh, perfect. I've got a size four and a half. I reckon I could have gone for a four to be honest. I actually ordered these 
in a i think i got the five and a half because the fives are like basically impossible to get hold of i got the five and a half and i was like they are absolutely massive and i had originally thought that the four and a halves were going to be a no-go especially for a summer shoe i never ever want to automatically choose to size down in a summer shoe and it's like the worst thing you could possibly do for your feet basically but they run very big and i would say very wide as well i'm so happy because the others were literally sliding off my feet <laughs> what do we think do we hate them or rate them? I think they're gonna be so fun with like my little lilac dress, the little lilac mini dress from my last video. These will be so fun. Just such a nice, fun, cute, go with everything casual summer shoe. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so tired. I've got today's video uploaded, done an info box, cleaned the house, done a mat workout. My fingers literally feel like they're about to drop off because i've been cleaning so much i sound like such a wimp but it's mostly the mat workout that really kills me it makes me all like shaky and stuff and i was so out of routine with exercising so it really really hits me it's fine because it is now 10 to 6 i need to put this evening's video live which is my far-fetched video but i'm also going to make some dinner because starving at the moment i feel like i may have said this earlier today i'm just obsessed with like rice veggies all the good things so what i like to do is pop my oven on and then i bung a load of vegetables in the oven i like to go for like roasted pepper roasted courgette please don't come for the way i chop a pepper today i'm throwing in some tomatoes i really like a little bit of sweet corn in there if i'm feeling like real summer vibes got some mushrooms and i think i'm going to throw those in because i've got some vegan chicken stuff Oh, what the cluck and then i like to throw in some mixed olives and some spinach and then i like to crumble some of this fire life crumbly crumbly yeah that's the word greek white on the top i like mash it up and it goes like proper like crumbly feta and it's so good so yeah that's what we are making this evening cue the montage <laughs> And here it is. What do we think? Does it look delish? I feel like this is quite a forgiving shot. It's actually like a total mess, but hopefully it's gonna taste good apart from the fact that I accidentally like free poured chili flakes into it. So RIP my taste buds. I am going to absolutely annihilate this. I'm gonna sit, binge watch Vampire Diaries on the sofa because this is my favorite way to eat when I'm on my own. Then I'm gonna get ready for bed really early because I'm gonna get in bed and watch Love Island which I am really, really enjoying at the moment. It's been a good day. So happy with my shoes as well. I'm so glad they fit. Second time lucky. So if you are interested in purchasing them, I would recommend going half size down. I think that will get like the perfect fit. Yeah. That is gonna be it for me today. I am being seriously pestered by my dog right now, so I need to go. But I hope you have all enjoyed this video and enjoyed just seeing a lot of the things that I've picked up recently. I am so excited that the warm weather is finally here as well because I can now wear all of these things. I'm so buzzed. But yeah, I'll be back with you very soon because I fully start Ibiza prep tomorrow. I'm so excited. Yeah, I will see you guys again in my next vlog. Love you, bye.